fed up with being pressured into vegan meals and alcohol lectures, I told my friend I won't cater to her every time we go out. Now the group's divided, am I wrong for wanting my own choices or is she being too controlling? My 50F friend Lauren, 46F, is a vegan who doesn't drink. That's awesome. And I have no issue with that. The problem is that she is part of a small group of friends who don't get out very often, but when we do it always has to be limited due to Lauren's choices. W E live in an area where our food choices suck to begin with. So having to go to eat where she can be satisfied is very limited. There really isn't much to do otherwise at night. In addition, she gets upset when any one of us eats something that has an obvious meat to it. For example, she doesn't say anything if we get a soup with chicken or something, but if we ordered a hamburger, she would cause drama. Then she doesn't drink, which is no big deal. But she will then send us videos on the harmful effects of alcohol if we get a drink or two with dinner. It has gotten on my nerves to say the least. It's been a while now, so I am done with everyone catering to her needs. I have tried inviting everyone to specific places and invited Lauren as well. Then she puts into a group chat, Hey ladies, since I can't eat at X, why don't we go to Yi? Then of course the other ones decide we should go to UI instead. I have backed off of going out because I don't want to spend money on food that sucks. Remember, it's vegan, not vegetarian, so it's very limiting. And is expensive or have my intelligence questioned by sending shit about the effects of alcohol as if we are not beyond old enough to know or Google it. I barely drink anyway, but enjoy a glass or two every so often. She asked why I keep bailing, so I told her I respect your choices, but by the very nature of them, they have limited mine. Being that I don't have the ability to go out often nor unlimited funds, I am only going to go when I know the entire experience will be what I want. So if I'm in the mood for a steak and a vodka tonic, I want to have them in a relaxed atmosphere, and that obviously bugs you. If I'm in the mood for a salad and water, I will gladly join you, or we can just hang out at the beach when we have time during the day. She didn't like that too much. She said that isn't what friendship is about and I should enjoy the company enough not to care. I told her that I understood and I would gladly hang out with her when food or drink isn't in question because it's too expensive not to enjoy it. She said that there is nothing else to do around here. Then I asked if it's just about friends. Maybe she can eat first and join us out sometimes and other times we can go to where she wants. She then told me that she's not going to sit around watching people eat meat. I said, okay, I get it, and you need to get that I'm not catering to your needs each time I'm free to hang out. I later got a text from a mutual friend that Lauren was upset, but she agreed with me because she was tired of the same shit. Of course, this friend doesn't like conflicts, so just listen to Lauren. So, I Ida for Not wanting to continue to eat food, I don't like or refrain from having a drink or two to keep the peace here. Or am I right in feeling like she's being selfish, expecting the rest of us to do what she's comfortable with each time? Elevent comments. Comment one. Nanta but drop the friends that don't like conflict. Why surround yourself with spineless morons? OP. True. It was all getting on my nerves and why I was happy not going anymore. However, I sometimes wonder if I'm an asshole when others just easily bend to other people. I appreciate that. Comment 2. Nta. Lauren is an ass though. The condescending comments about meat and alcohol are beyond me. OP. The alcohol really pissed me off. It was such a self-righteous type of behavior to me. Comment 3. Nah, she's exactly right. That isn't what friendship is about. And so why can't she enjoy hanging out with her friends who are allowed to eat and drink whatever they want while she eats and drinks what she wants? I'm sorry, there's probably not a great ending here, but the way she's framed the situation can easily be turned around back on her. So she's not right. Neither is she wrong. It just may be that you two are incompatible as friends. OP. Yes, I'm feeling we are not a good fit. To be honest, I am working hard on setting boundaries, but sometimes I question if I'm not going overboard, especially when many other women my age seem to just go along with something. I felt like she was being extremely selfish, but thought I could be missing something and why I asked. OP on if she had a problem with Lauren being a vegan and doesn't drink OP. No, the problem is that I'm expected to become a vegan and not drink in her presence. I don't care what she does, but she cares what I do and the other women as well. OP on the food choices in the area. OP, nice try. I live in a small beach town. There is shitty food to begin with, so the options are extremely limited here. So I can't tell you how many salads I have been limited to eating while going out with her dot. There are no solely vegan restaurants and very few that have vegan options. She doesn't make it worthwhile to listen to negativity to get what you actually want so leaves fucking salad. So just because you misinterpret what I meant or assume the worst in people doesn't mean you're right. Fucking fame, seriously. Damn, I thought my life was pretty lame just asking this question and to think someone thinks I'd actually make this shit up. FS.update. Thank you so much to the countless people who commented on my post shown below. 
You made me realize that I wasn't an A.H. and shouldn't have put up with her B.S. Many asked how I put up with it for so long. I don't have a good answer, but it was more about the group itself where I didn't want to create drama. My experience with friends has been lucky as most everyone has been loving, fun, and selfless. We can also call each other out on BS by busting chops and laughing. This was my first group who met semi-regularly and the others were very sweet to where I felt uncomfortable rocking the boat. Anyway, yesterday it was a bazillion degrees out here in DeGlorda and I was playing tennis with Lauren and two others. W are dying. I don't normally play with her, but these women are all on my team I joined coming up in the fall, so we needed to start practicing. No, I did not join because of Lauren. LOL. I've played against the other two throughout the years and they have been asking for me to play for a long time now. I live in a small area, so it's common for circles to mix like this. One of the ladies had to stop due to dizziness, cramping, and nausea. We all decided that we should only play much earlier in the summer, except, of course, Lauren, who didn't want to wake up early because she said she didn't play well then. That's when I had it. With the power of thousands of random Reddit strangers in my head, I basically told her off. I told her I've never met someone so self-absorbed in my entire life and it was disgusting that she would even think that way in front of a teammate who clearly had heat exhaustion let alone have it come out of her mouth. I said all this while her ass was sitting down while the other woman and I got a cold wet towel for this woman and got her to drink. Lauren stormed off. These other two thanked me. One was her usual partner who is the sweetest person alive and said she has been wanting to tell her off for a year now. The other one who was feeling like shit said she is going to tell the captain that she needs to go because she is like a cancer on the team. I am very happy to say that I will not be dealing with her selfish BS any longer. She can go shove a carrot up her ass for all I care. LOL. Thanks so much everyone. Tonight I'm going to have a giant hamburger and a cold beverage in your honor. Cheers. Relevant comments. OP. Not respecting Lauren's wishes and trying to make this whole thing about herself and not Lauren OP. I did say something and suggested other things. She wasn't having it. I wasn't pouting. We are busy and have lives. So this isn't the end of the world. And I was quite happy with that choice. I kindly told her my feelings and she told me I wasn't being a good friend because it isn't about the food. So then why do we have to eat her shit every time then? I wasn't hurt over the videos. It was fucked up to cross others' boundaries like that as she was some self-righteous queen of health. She's controlling as thousands have pointed out. That should be clear with her not budging on playing in the mornings after her teammate got sick from the heat. I spoke with her already calmly and nicely. She never budged and only expected me to continue to bend to her needs inferring I was not a good friend. I still ended that conversation in a respectful manner to then learn she goes to a mutual friend to bitch about me. It was after the above that I felt she was extremely selfish, but I still wasn't sure because she turned it around on me. That's why I came here to Reddit. I didn't go off on her about the food, I went off on her because there was a woman about to throw up due to extreme heat. While another woman and myself were trying to cool her down and make sure she was okay, Lauren made it again about her. She sat there bitching about not wanting to play earlier because she doesn't play well early in the morning. Tell that is complete bullshit because matches start early in the mornings and she's played in this league for many years. I'm sorry, but you must be extremely infuriating to anyone who needs your help and needs you to listen. You fill in gaps to stories that don't exist. You assume what people are feeling and why they have done certain things and then come across in a very pompous manner that you are correct. Yes, you are absolutely correct to the shit you literally made up in your head. However, you are very far off from from what happened with me, how I felt, and why I acted the way I did. Now to the next story, story two. When a girl in the gym asked for help while recording, I refused, sparking an unexpected turn of events. Was I wrong? I think I acted rudely with a girl in the gym and wanted to get opinions on if I was the AH in this situation. I, 41M, go to the gym early in the morning around 5.30 AM. There are generally very few people that come to the gym at that time. There is a girl, early 20s, that also comes to the gym at the same time. We always say hello to each other and have small talk between our sets. She comes in early because the gym is empty and she likes to record herself working out as she wants to be a fitness influencer or something. She seems dedicated and we have known each other for at least a year. This morning, as I was working out, she came to me and asked for help. She was very excited and told me that she wanted to go for a PR on barbell squat. She asked me if I could spot her as she was not confident if she would be able to do it. I said, okay, as this is not the most uncommon thing. 
For people who are unfamiliar, this is an exercise where you carry a barbell with weights on your back and perform a squat. The spotter has to stand behind the person and support the person in case they fail to get up. As she was getting ready, I saw her phone in the corner and asked her if I could be off camera or if she can stop recording. She said she really wanted to record herself doing it and I will look good on camera. I told her that I really do not want to be on camera as my wife or co-workers may watch the video if she posts it online and may not look good for me. Another reason that I did not tell her was that she was wearing a very revealing outfit small sports bra and tight shorts and I really did not feel comfortable being recorded standing behind her. She promised me that she will record it for herself and not post the video. However, I just did not want to be recorded. I told her that I really feel uncomfortable and if she waits for 30 minutes, one of the trainers may be able to help her. She became really upset and asked me why I am making the situation weird. She accused me of sexualizing her. She asked me if she was a man would I have done it? I felt she had a point as I have done it for other people. I told her that I would be okay doing it, but I just don't want to be recorded doing it. She again went on a rant about me body shaming her and me being uncomfortable with her perfectly fine outfit. I felt bad that I upset her as she was just trying to work out. I have also asked people to spot me in past and people always help. However, I just did not want to be recorded. Am I the AA to refuse to spot her because she was recording it? I don't want her to feel that it was because of her clothes or because she is a girl. However, as a married man, I need to observe some boundaries and really don't want to be recorded in that way with a girl half my age. I am also worried that she recorded our whole conversation and may post it online. I do not know what to do in this situation and am a bit worried. Relevant comments commenter? That people who are pointing out the line of how you think it would look inappropriate if a co-worker or wife saw you aren't familiar with lifting. If she reached failure, it would absolutely look bad on you because people don't understand what spotting and having to assist with squats looks like. OP, that was exactly what went through my mind. Plus, who knows what commentary someone can put on top of those videos to make it go viral. Update I had posted on a different forum three weeks ago about me refusing to help a girl in the gym for spotting her barbell squat because she was recording us. I did not think it would blow up so much that my wife got this story on her TikTok. What happened after was pretty unexpected and my life is a bit absurd right now. I was worried that she would post our conversation about me refusing her help online and show me as the bad guy. I told my wife about the conversation and she said that she has seen posts where young girls do add nasty voiceovers and make men my age look like creeps for views. My wife told me that I should just complain to the gym management about her for recording me without my consent, just to get ahead of things. When I went to the gym next week, I saw her again. I tried to keep my distance, but she kept on smiling at me. As I finished my sets, she came to me and asked me if we could talk. She wanted to apologize for her behavior from the previous day and how it was wrong of her to assume that I would be okay with her recording me. It was a pleasant surprise as I was not expecting that. I told her that it was okay and I just don't like to be recorded in general. She followed me outside and continued the conversation. She asked me how long I had been working out and I could advise her on her form. I told her that there are some really good personal trainers in the gym I could recommend to her, but she told me that she is fun employed and cannot afford them. She told me she will buy me a coffee if I can give her some pointers. At this point, I felt I was just being rude and told her sure and we went to a nearby coffee shop. Her name is Haley. She graduated last year, moved back to her mom's house, and is looking for a job. She was very chubby last year and wants to look like the TikTok fitness models and is trying hard to get in shape. We had a nice conversation and I was able to help her with some of her questions. She already knew my name and asked me if my wife would be okay if she follows me on Instagram. I told her that the main purpose of that account is for my wife to spy on my friends' lives so I generally don't use it. She asked me if I use Snapchat and I had to remind her that I am twice her age. This is where it got crazy. When I came home, I told my wife about what happened. My wife loves her reels and TikTok and wanted to see if she ever posted the video from the previous week. I only knew that her first name was Haley and how she looked and told my wife about it. When I came back from work in the evening, my wife was already home and sitting on the sofa. She was grinning ear to ear and told me to immediately sit next to her. Apparently, this girl had been posing about me and calling me her gym crush for the last two months. My face is blurred out in all the videos. A lot of videos were of her sitting in her car every morning and making up completely fictional romantic stories about our interactions. Each video had like 100 plus likes, which my wife says is not a lot, but feels like a lot. She had posted some videos of us just passing each other and smiling or a conversation where I was telling her to stop recording with a voice over about how I approached her in the gym and complimented her body. 
There was a video from that morning about her coming to me while I was packing up with her saying how I asked her out for a coffee. She is just making up fictional romantic bullshit for getting likes and people were commenting and cheering for her. There were also other videos of her working out and posing in the gym locker room. My wife was laughing uncontrollably about how big of a sucker I am and how I am internet famous now. I told her this needs to stop. But my wife insisted that she is too invested in the drama now and wants to see what happens next. She said that this girl is really young and just trying to establish herself and get more followers. Plus, she has not done anything inappropriate and is not showing my face in the videos. My wife just wants me to play along and see what Crazy Haley does next. So for the last two weeks, I have been going to the gym, talking to her every day, and my wife keeps me updated on what stories she came up with for the day. We go for a coffee every Wednesday, and I am mentoring her about nutrition and what she should focus on to the best of my abilities. It's all a game for my wife, and I do want Haley to succeed as long as she does not cross a line. However, the whole thing feels really crazy, and I am too old to deal with this shit. I am not sure how long I can keep up with the act. Her behavior seems innocent, but also I'm getting a bit uncomfortable with the whole thing now. Relevant comments. Did the girl know OP is married? OP, yes, she knows I'm married. I wear my ring in the gym, and also I talk about my wife all the time to her. I also feel it's a bit weird for a 22-year-old person to make up stories. My wife feels she is just using me as an NPC in her fiction to gain more viewers and create drama. We discussed it, and she told me about how some girls just make up stories about bad first dates on TikTok, as it gets them a lot of views. My wife feels it's weird, but I need to see the humor in this situation. At least it's entertaining and she wants to know where her story goes next. What was all about in the coffee discussion? OP. What are the coffee discussions like? It seems weird for her to do that. If it is just for TikTok attention, it's easier for her to make stuff up. The coffee discussions are very fitness oriented and she genuinely has legit questions. We do discuss stuff about our lives, mostly hers, and she shares her struggles in getting a job and life in general for a Gen Z person. However, she has never said anything inappropriate. I feel she must have had some footage of me passing her and smiling and greeting her and just use that in her edits. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more shocking real life stories happening around you.